I was really uh, proud of our team uh, to find a way to, to get a, a good win against a really good UTEP team. Uh, they've been playing really well as of late. Um, you know, getting Kennedy back really boosted their team. Anytime you got two guys like uh, Boom and Bienemy, you got your hands full. Uh, you throw a third perimeter score out there like Kennedy, and uh, it, it makes them really tough. You've got to be uh, on your toes. Verhoeven's been playing well. Um, you know, we built that 10-point lead early in the second half. Uh, they made a run, took a four or five-point lead, and I thought our guys just stuck together. You know, there wasn't uh, panic plays defensively, gambling for steals, uh, taking flyers on the offensive end as far as shots go. Uh, I thought we just continued to execute and. Uh, found a way to, to, you know, get a big stop. I thought Dish made the 70-footer uh, going into, you know, that, that last shot of regulation. But super proud of this young man uh, sitting beside of me. 18-7 uh, and seven tonight uh, was just a, a horse. And uh, happy to be moving on. How important was it for your program to, to finally get that hurdle done tonight? Yeah, I think you, you can just feel the difference in, in postseason play, you know, the, the intensity of every possession. Uh, there's just a different feel. Uh, as soon as our guys walked into the arena tonight, uh, you could feel it. You know, there's two games going on, and you can just watch uh, the intensity by both teams on both courts uh, on both ends of the floor. And um, – uh, I, I thought our guys stepped up to that level as well. And uh, again, just found a, 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 a way to win a tough one. You know, anytime you're missing a, a sixth year senior uh, like Josh Jefferson, who's been our leading scorer all year long, uh, experience matters this time of year. And uh, some of our younger players, uh, you know, got thrown in the deep end real quick. And uh, it was good to see how they responded. Yeah, uh, it, you're right. And towards the end of the regular season, uh, they're comfortable. And, and because they have been logging a lot of minutes, particularly a guy like Tiafiel Leonard. You know, he's logged a lot of minutes, been playing, you know, 15, 18, 20 plus minutes in some games all season long. Uh, but this time of year, uh, there's just a different feel. You, you're, you're back to kind of the rookie. You know, you don't know what that's like uh, until you get out there. And that's where, you know, when, when you're in a tournament situation like this and you get the bye, uh, you're somewhat at, uh, I feel like, uh, over those first 8, 10, 12 minutes, you can be at somewhat of a disadvantage to your opponent who's already played. They've kind of got the, the tournament jitters out. And uh, I was proud of our guys for the way they looked and reacted early in the game. Beyond you, obviously, the book on UTEP is that they don't have the, as good a post presence as their guards are. And they obviously, you guys turned to you a lot tonight to, to exploit that. Um, how satisfying was it to get those buckets tripping overtime to keep things rolling? Oh, it's, uh, it's very satisfying, especially when you're missing a your leading scorer like Josh Jefferson. So uh, to be able to come out here and step up, and I took a few more shots than I usually take, and I was able to, to knock them in. It's, it's very uplifting for the team and, and myself, so it was, it was pretty pretty good. Y'all were able to get them jumping late, get some fouls in that paint. Is that something that y'all saw they were doing during the game and attacked in that situation? Uh, definitely, definitely. Uh, especially once the foul count started getting a little higher, we seen that uh, we need to get them more, more aggressive. And uh, we started using those, and we knocked in free throws late, which was real important. Huge, huge. He, he his, uh, they had taken a two-point lead when he made a three at the top of the key. And then his uh, three-point basket right in front of our bench uh, as well. Those were two you know, momentum baskets for us. And, uh, you know, again, that's that's what you need this time of year is somebody that has has been in tournament play. Uh, he's, he's uh, you know, been in college basketball three or four years and, and uh, looked like it out there. Pulled out an inbound play that looks like it was, you know, drawn up on the Sandlot football. <laughs> so I have to ask, have you been 
spend some time with Coach Stock and Coach Stewart. <laughs> it, it is a football play, uh, but you know, just needed to get the ball in bounds, and uh, you know, we we anticipated a quick early foul, uh, so uh, just tried to keep them off balance a little bit. <laughs> yes, we did know he scored 20 points a game. Uh, anytime, you know, the, the, you're going to have to throw multiple bodies at a guy like that. Um, he's he's a, a tough guy to handle, you know. Um, we knew that going into the, our game at our place a couple weeks ago and um, knew that we had to be on point with him. They, they run a lot of actions to, to get him and the enemy uh, clean looks. And so, you know, you can see some of our guys – uh, their, their tongues were dragging a little bit late in the game, but for having to run, run and chase guys like that, it's it's hard. DeAndre, what, what does it feel like to get that first one out of the way? And you know that you got you know, another one going tomorrow. Oh, it was exciting. Uh, the biggest part of it is knowing that that we was picked last. So even where we're at now is a big accomplishment. So to keep moving forward and advancing is just just great for us and a great feeling. Thank you. Appreciate it. Congratulations. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.